Hello and welcome to Inanis. This is a new game from an upcoming indie developer. Uh, one of the developers reached out to me and asked if I wanted to help with their Kickstarter launch, which has just happened today. So if you want to check out this game uh, as we play through it, um, you can test out the demo for yourself if you go to the link in the description. Hopefully I remember to leave that there. Um, but this is a game... Well, let me just... I'm going to read up the uh, Steam description. So, on Steam it says that Inanis is a story-rich fusion of bullet hell, boss battles, and deck building. And so I, I watched a brief trailer, it looks like there's some tactical positioning on a board as well. Um, and like I said, there's some story options. Um, and the art style looks really unique, so I'm excited to dive in and see what this is about. Um, this game is planned to release next year, next October. Um, but like I said, you can test out the demo before that happens. Test it out for yourself, but uh, I'm going to start a new game. And... I don't know. We'll experience it together. You've begun your journey into a large world, Pilgrim. From here you can travel across this vast continent and work to fulfill the great quest of your people, killing the king. I, I read some brief story on this earlier too. Seems like there's uh, there's some protectors of the king and there's some um, other people who are trying to bring down the king. If you've walked these roads before, walk on to the ugly infant. If you're unfamiliar with these paths, I can tell you more. Sounds like a bar or something. Uh, a tavern. Alright, what do you have to say? Okay, you're traveling on the King's Road. These cards are your current choices. Selecting them will give you dialogue and new choices. Some cards will bring you new areas of the game, let you talk to other characters. Alright. And Anis is difficult. Expect to die and die again. But as you are resurrected by mysterious powers, learn from your mistakes, watch your enemy's pattern. Um, yeah, so I, I've heard that the, the, apparently the boss battles are very challenging. And those are the only types of battles. We need to walk into the nearest town. You arrive at the ugly infant. Um... We start a fight, and, and we, <laughs> we can linger. Walk to the crossroads. The barfly. What's this? This looks exciting. <laughs> First time in dead. Oh, okay. Um, not sure what you're looking for, but you won't find it in there. I won't. Okay, what is this place? This is the ugly infant. Only tavern worth checking out for a mile. You just said not to check it out. Nothing in there for me. Wretched place. Uh, what is everyone sharing about? The fights? Death matches. I'm intrigued. I've got nothing to live for, except killing the king. Who is the champion? Maybe we should find some information about that. Chester. <laughs> Used to be a skinny little bar mutt. The way I remember it, he broke his hand in a fight. But the way it broke made him lose his feeling. He would wail on folks with that stump of a hand. Got tired of a mutt, went to the castle. Might have been looking for work. Might have been trying to trying his hand at murdering the king, like all you pilgrim rats. Either way, he came back here uh, a forlong, twice as big, and an arm like a club hasn't left since. This king seems to gotta have a pretty bad reputation. Ain't usually sober. Alright. Can you get me into a fight? <laughs> Alright. I don't have that kind of cred around here, but confidence will get you a lot of dangerous places. Best of luck. Alright, let's go in. You arrive at the ugly infant. Oh, okay. Let's go inside. Hmm. Increase soul? Interesting. <laughs> um, I say we go for normal. 
I know it sounds challenging, but I'm up for the challenge. Okay, choose a starting square. Can we like start behind him? <laughs> I assume we have to start in this place. Alright, let's start back here. Oh, we're a weak little mage. Wait, this is a stub of an arm? Yikes. Welcome to Ananas Clicking. Okay. Uh, here's your health. And here's the boss's health. Spirit provides you with passive bonus for the fight. For the tutorial, you have the Spirit of Brilliance, which gives you plus one action. See how many actions you have remaining on the turn. Hopefully my... Maybe I'll move my camera a little bit. I wasn't quite sure where to place it. Good enough. Um, each card costs one action. Some will give you actions as a result of playing the card. You can also end your turn. But actions won't carry over. Uh, okay. Your hand is in the middle of the screen. At the end of your turn, you have to choose one card in hand to remove from your deck for the rest of the battle. So this was interesting. So I, I think it works kind of like a rogue-like deck builder that we've sort of seen in the past on this channel. And except you have to remove a card from your deck at the end of each turn, which I think is a good thing. But maybe you, it means you got to kill the boss pretty fast, also. Um, first turn, you're given all your move sets. These cards can, are containers for all the cards you've brought into battle. Play them to add the cards to your deck. Make sure you play all of them so that you get all of the cards in your deck. <clears throat> okay, so we have two actions. We get to play two cards, I guess. Does that also mean I can move, I assume? Play to recall your training. Okay, these are just... sure. These are just tutorial cards. Gain one action. Alright, so I guess I have no cards left in my hand. I guess I'll pass. Can I move? No. Alright, we'll end the turn and see what happens. Belligerent throws. Did he damage me? No. Alright. Ah, oh, we have to use cards to move. I see. Move one left or right at random. Interesting. So I, I like the whole, like, tactical positioning on the board. It's pretty interesting. Discard up to three cards. Shoot a fireball that moves three and deals two. Oh, I guess we gotta move forwards then, huh? No, no, no. I didn't want to use that. Oh, crap. <laughs> Um. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay. Well! Take that! It's a warning shot across your nose. <laughs> um. I guess we'll just. Oh! Oh, did I. Are these like caltrops or something? Did I step on them by accident? That was an oopsie. Alright, go back. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll end then. Uh, and then we have to choose a card to permanently destroy. I don't understand this. Discard up to three cards? Seems kind of bad if, we're, if we only draw th three a turn, but I don't know. We'll learn as we go. Okay, he's up in our face now. Uh, moves 10. And deals 1 damage. Okay. Um, start with 1 extra action each turn. Sounds good. Copy a card in your hand. I, I don't know that movement does anything. <laughs> if, he, if we're like up in his face already. 
But, um, we only got one action, so I guess we'll use our biggest card. Alright, we've dealt two damage. We're on four life. Jesus. Okay, um, get rid of dodge. Okay, we're taking, like, one damage each turn. We have three life, and we have to deal 18. Jesus. <laughs> on draw, discard all cards in your hand. Hmm. Move up to three in any direction. I, I don't know if there's a point in running away. <laughs> I guess we have to. Reveal enemy intentions. Oh. What? Tipsy Haymaker. So he's gonna run away? Is that what that's telling me? Alright, let's let's try let's see about this tactics works. I move down. I think I'm gonna run into that though. Uh, moves ten and deals one damage. On draw, discard all cards in hand. This, this sounds terrible. Why are there so many discard cards? Does this, like, let me draw again? I guess we'll experiment. Seems to be a lot of discard cards. We'll see what it does. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna lose the actions anyways, so I guess we'll just... Let's see if this hurts us. I imagine it does, but, you know, some things... If you charge past something, sometimes it doesn't hurt, but I imagine it will. We're gonna die here, I think, anyways. <laughs> okay, we took the damage. Uh, oh, this is only in a straight line, I guess. That's kind of sad. Alright. Tipsy Haymaker. Alright, we got one life. Oh, we got a conc- oh, I see. Play to discard, if destroyed. Uh, maybe that's what that card was before. Hey, Riker! How's the run going? This is Bryce from Marco Polo. Oh! Yeah, I just started. Uh, welcome. I- this is literally the first fight, so I'm still kind of learning the mechanics and everything. But, um, I love the art style so far. Congrats on the launch, by the way, for the Kickstarter. Um, I'm still kind of learning, like, the- how the tactics, the positioning and everything works. Um, we are definitely gonna die here. Throw in some damage. Oh. Uh, select a card to destroy. Alright, we are dead. <laughs> you have faith. Oh, sad. Um... Found your body lying limp. Yet even with all your wounds, you are not dead. I suspect there was some form of magic sustaining you, but I won't hazard to guess what a sort. Is this a church? I like <laughs> the little lady floating in the corner. The, high the highlight knows, child. This place has been in ruin for an age. I haven't heard of that since I was a child. Little wonder, any reference to the High or Eastern Light has been banned by the King. Such a thing is punishable by death. Okay. <laughs> this King sounds like a bad guy. Do you know anything about the King? I've also heard that you... Um, don't repeat the same fights. You like continue on with new fights. From what I briefly read, I think. Not more than... Not more than any old woman with eyes to see. <laughs> we all know he will be our ruin. I only know when. You know when. I can feel things in the air. The ground, the spirit of a woman. I see signs, hear whispers. All I can make is predictions, but I'm usually correct. I feel your grief. I do not see it departing soon. But I cannot predict if you will be the pilgrim to succeed. I would have to look into the heart of the king, and I do not know the power to do so. Well... I imagine... Thanks for the follow! I imagine that we... are going to kill the king if we keep getting resurrected. It might be painful, though. 
I see a light inside you, raging, collapsing, annihilating light. If I had not saved you, someone... someone would have. There are certain fires in this world that cannot be snuffed out so easily. Hmm. Okay. Let's continue. Before you yield to death... To death's course, hand... <laughs> Before you yield to death's course, hand once... Again, a world of caution, child. Glance into that rut sack of yours. Make sure you're prepared. Appropriate magics. You have been fallen out of a hubris, but perhaps you weren't prepared. Ah, I see. Okay, maybe I had a. I had to prepare some stuff. I just kind of went in blind. Have you pet the dog? I haven't pet a dog. Is there a dog? Private at well-traveled crossroads. Okay, wait. Let's. Check the bag. Um, see available move sets. Okay. Um, so fire sounds good. Um, I guess movement's pretty good. Move one backwards. Attack three spaces. Okay, let's go offensive and some movement. Save deck, sure. He's hanging out uh, somewhere outside the bar? Let's go back to the tavern. I want to pet the doggo. <laughs> you begin walking- oh wait. To the nearest town. Is this a different town? Okay, we're back at the ugly infant. Oh, so we can do the same fight. Wait, there's a dog? Where's the dog? Let's linger. Drunken personalities enter and exit around you. The tavern is the beating heart of the corpse, of the town corpse. <gasps> That's that dog! <laughs> it's adorable! <laughs> a small street dog sits in front of you. Pet the dog. <laughs> the dog growls at you. I'm scared. A small street dog sits in front of you. Pet him again. He lays down and rolls over. Oh. <laughs> Points his nose in the direction of a local official who is obviously in the middle of accepting a bribe. I want to keep him. Can I just keep petting him? He gives a piteous howl. Doesn't seem to make up his mind. Okay. Sometimes it's friendly, sometimes it's not. He bites me. All right. I'm sorry, adorable little dog. Okay, let's let's try and fight again. See what else we can do. I think we're gonna lose again. I feel like we need some items, but uh, wait, you exit back to the courtyard. Let's try the training. We went to normal last time <laughs> and kind of got crushed. Um. Okay, let's try and start in the front position, I guess. Oh, now he's only got 15, so that's a bit more manageable. Okay. Okay, so he's scattered his stuff all across. Attacked three spaces in front of you for two damage. Um, move two and attack two ahead of you. Alright. So we'll move twice. Um, move two and attack the square ahead of you. Oh, I guess I need actual two spaces to move. Oh, wait. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um, charge? Nope, that didn't attack. Okay, I misread that, I guess. Move two and attack the square ahead of you. Oops. Okay. I didn't mean to click that, but sure. Um, Alright. Move forwards and attack the square ahead of you. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll get rid of this. One damage doesn't seem like much. Oh, you pushed me all the way back? Uh, 
Uh, okay, fireball. Alright, we got him this time. We know what we're doing. <laughs> Attack three spaces in front of you for two damage. Biggest damage? Oh, sorry, wait. That's... I'm really bad at reading cards, apparently. Okay. <laughs> we'll just intimidate him again. It is tough. I mean, I... Yeah, I kind of threw away a couple cards there, but yeah. Um, on draw, discard all cards in hand. Distraction. Move one at the start of next turn. Move as far as possible. Two. Okay, we'll just throw in attacks. Oh no, he's- what? <laughs> oh dear, I've angered him. It's okay. Oops. Ah, I actually have to move with that card. Okay. So we can destroy this? On draw, discard, discard all cards in hand. Play to destroy. Okay. Ah, dash goes through the boss. Interesting. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. As far as possible. Ah, okay, that's super useful, actually. Um... Fortunately, I don't think we can... We need to attack in a straight line, right? Moves 10 and deals 1 damage. I guess we'll just do that, then. Oh, oh, I could have just dashed and then attacked, I guess. That was another option, but oh well. Um, this doesn't... Oh, I'm assuming that does nothing. Okay, just testing. And then this needs to be in a straight line. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this. Attack the three spaces in front of you. Oh. Oh, I guess I need three spaces open. Oh, I need to select my movement. You remember your plan, I see. I forgot my plan, apparently. Um, Almost dead, then. Got him! I thought it was on 5 life, but I think we got him. Great job completing the training. Now you're ready to take on the champion of the ugly infant for real. Okay. Okay, well let's, let's try let's try on the increased difficulty, because I know what I'm doing now. I think we'll start with the, the center tile. He takes extra damage on training. Ah! I see. That makes sense. Okay, so now we're fighting him for real. <laughs> um. Okay. Guess we can firebolt. That's about it. Okay, so that one that um that lets you move across the board is like really strong then. Oh my god, he took out like half my health, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna dash away then. Wait, first let's attack. Okay, now let's move far away. <laughs> And so what is the purpose of this card? On draw, discard all cards in hand, play to destroy. I feel like you don't want to discard all cards in hand. But I'll just 
try it. Oh, can we attack backwards? I wonder. <laughs> when he hits you with the move, it can put distraction in your hand. When that happens, you use all the cards you currently have in your hand. Ah, when you when you p pick up the card, I see that makes sense. So you definitely want to get rid of that then, right? Um. So we can. Okay. So I assume this kind of spun our direction around. So now we backwards is behind us again. I assume. Um. One backwards. Alright. I guess we'll put a plan to move in. Uh, discard this. Move two and attack the square ahead of you. Okay. So, I don't know that this does anything, <laughs> but we'll go backwards, and then charge. I... And then do this. Um... Let's get rid of this. Okay, we're on... Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, we're on one life. Might be kind of tough. Uh, maybe I should be like running away more? Move to and attack the square ahead of you. Alright, we might just be dead. <laughs> oh no, we've enraged him. Um, I assume this doesn't... we can't go through him this way. So we go down this way. Oh, I can move. Wait. Can move two now? Interesting. I don't know if this, like, protects us because we're at an angle. It looks like it did. So that's good. <laughs> um. Okay. can't reach us here, right? <laughs> uh, I can't really do anything anyways. Moves 10. So all of these are like in straight line attacks. I guess this is like... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so we can't attack him, I assume. Let's just do a movement. And... The cheers of the people. What is this? To the people, to the ugly infant, to the fields. Interesting. Uh, Alright. I don't know what this is, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a cheer, does this count as an action to use it? Uh, let's see what it does, I guess. I don't know what that did. Does that give me hope? <laughs> uh, let's just finish then. Oh, it just takes up a spot in your hand? Okay. <laughs> hey! Got him! Congratulations, thanks for playing. Let me know what you thought of the demo. Ah, okay, so let's go exploring more. If that was like the, that was like the, the boss we had to fight. Ah! Oh. Awesome! Nice! Um, let's go back to the map though. I I'm curious if there's like other places to explore. Oh wait. Yeah, walk to the crossroads. It's pretty good though. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to beat it that time, not gonna lie. So I can see some like tactical positioning of like actually trying to stay out of range. 
Or maybe even like bait him to the center. And then like sidestep or something. Um... Let's look around, just see what else is here. You see signs of trading, caravans passing through, several small camps dot the landscape, marking it as a safe place to rest. Away from the rest of the encampments, one older man, spy fire and study and stuff in hand. The sign above the crossroads labeled Deadwood to the rest, Beth Rose to the south, and Great Wild to the north. Gotta pick up your brother from work? Nice. Well, thanks. Thanks for stopping by, Riker. And uh, once again, congrats on the game. Um, very unique art style. I look, I look forward to seeing where this goes. Um, what are these options? The Wanderer, the Warrior. A sturdy vanguard warrior stands in front of you, obviously waiting for someone. Well, it's obviously me. You want to spend the night in a cell? Leave, <laughs> leave me be, dust trap. All right, bother him again. Yeah. I like that you can keep clicking on the same things. <laughs> ah, yeah. There's the Kickstarter link. Um, yeah, I'll post that. Um, I think I have a, a bot going, but it didn't seem to trigger. But yeah, if you want to check that out, uh, that link, anyone who's in chat, uh, you can find more details. Bother, 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 bother. Okay, this guy's very patient. <laughs> Alright. You're more patient than I. Okay, let's check on the Wanderer. Have you seen the great ob soul before? It is it is the empty ocean in the common tongue. Nothing stirs in these waters. I have, I have sw swam in them on occasion, free from all but the dark embrace of the water. That's how this land will be soon, empty. We watch towers fall and villages burn, and we think of the world as filled with rubble. But eventually the rubble will crumble, and there will be... Why can't I speak? And there will truly be nothing left. I cannot say this is bad or good, only that it will be if this continues. And that while wicked forces may be the cause, we cannot know what greater forces than these intend. You're welcome here, Leah, daughter of Ilmenda. I'll not turn away, I'll not seek. Uh... You're not ready for your journey, but I can teach you. Okay, what can you teach me? Old Wanderer. I don't even know who you are. If I answered that truthfully, you would already know... Ah! I'm just not ready, apparently. Are you my father? <laughs> I'm the one who is not found but never lost. I am wind-blowing where I am meant without fear or regret. You may call me teacher. Alright. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Alright, so I think that's going to be it then. Um, looks like this wander is going to gatekeep me here. So, thanks for watching everyone. Um, I'm going to start up a new game. I'm not sure what I'm going to play just yet. 